Hi there, so we're going to do today a breathing class and some Qigong breathing ex lung exercises, the lung sequence. So, <clears throat> sit somewhere comfortable, you can do it sat on a chair if you prefer, or come to sit cross-legged on the floor with a couple of cushions underneath your bum so you can sit long out of your spine. And then and just place your hands on your knees or thighs. So you can feel a little bit of space between underneath your armpits and the sides of your chest. And just come to close your eyes. And sitting tall up out of the pelvis, lengthen the spine, but keep the shoulders nice and soft and relaxed. And lengthen through the back of the neck. Allow yourself to not be so tall and rigid that you can't breathe properly, but we do want some nice length and not rounding over too much if possible. And just start to take your awareness inwards. into your body and notice how you feel, what sensations, if there's any tightness, tension or anything we're holding on to. Just see if you can notice where you feel it. See if you can gently just observe the breath. And notice again how that feels. But try not to label it or continue with a train of thought about it. Just feel, observe, and that's it. When you exhale, <clears throat> see if you can let go of anything you may be holding on to. Let your breath be natural. Just take your right hand to your belly, your lower belly, and then your left hand to your upper chest or your heart center. So 
when we touch a place in our body, we're just stimulating the nervous system to recognise where we're focusing on and where we're working with. So you want to do some diaphragmatic breathing. So you're probably aware of this, but <clears throat> it's a great way to relax ourselves and take the pressure off the lungs. So you're just going to breathe deeply into the belly. The rest of the chest should virtually not move. May do a little bit, but mostly it's nice and deep and grounded into your belly. find a nice steady gentle flow at your own pace. But see if as you relax more it's able to slightly slow down even if it's just a fraction. Okay, so either keeping your hands here, or you can move your hands to the side of your chest, the side of your lungs. We're going to do a few complete breaths. So really aerating the lungs and the body, <clears throat> and really cleansing any stale breath and toxins out of our chest and lungs. So I want you to take a just normal gentle breath and I'm going to exhale and empty the lungs completely as much as you're able to without forcing. Then you're going to start to breathe in through the belly, so feel the rise of the belly and then continue with the breath to expand the main area of your chest, so the rib cage, and then take the breath right up into maybe the top of your chest keeping the shoulders relaxed, and then exhale, let the air out nice and steady. Emptying the lungs again, and we'll repeat that. So inhale, expand the belly, bring it up into the main part of your chest, feel the expansion in all directions, and then up into the top of the chest, and then exhale, either through the mouth or the nose. Okay, so with your own breath rhythm now, continue with that and do two more. to return to a nice relaxed breath. Try to breathe in and out through the nose if you can. And we're going to do a complete breath but it's a more subtle softer version. So breathing into the belly and then feel the gentle soft expansion of the rest of the chest and then exhaling. a nice steady breath, even if it takes you a little longer. I want you 
need to count in your head your inhale and then count your exhale. So maybe it takes you the count of two or maybe it takes you the count of four. But just count. See how long the inhale is and the exhale is. Do that for a few breaths. Okay, so when you have your count, it doesn't matter what it is, just you know what that is. What we're going to try and aim to do very gently, don't force your body, just see if you're able to extend the exhale a little bit more. So, say for example, your inhale is three and your exhale is two then I want you to extend the exhale to three to match the inhale. Or if your inhale is two and your exhale is two, then extend the exhale to three and your inhale stays at two. So just work with your body and just be really gentle with it. So let's do this for maybe 10 or 12 breaths, just see where we get to. Just relax deeply and I'll tell you when to make any change. Remember with your exhale still to keep letting go, <clears throat> not creating any tension and releasing any that you do have. It's important to remember that your lungs do know what they're doing. At times they may struggle or not work as efficiently as they normally do or could do. But it's important to remember that they do still know what to do. Okay, we're just going to try something else, but if you're too uncomfortable with it, then don't do it, but just give it a try. So continue with your breathing in this pattern, <clears throat> wherever you're at with it. And at the top of your inhale, I want you to hold your breath for one or two seconds. If you're able to, so as you inhale, hold one or two seconds. And then 
slowly exhale gently with your slightly extended exhale. So keep the pattern of the breath, but you're just going to try and hold the breath in just for a moment or two. As I say, if that makes you uncomfortable in any way, then don't do it. The idea is with this practice <clears throat> is to gently extend the amounts of time. So what we want to do is gently work, very, very slowly, gently work on extending the exhale and also adding a slight breath retention at the top of your inhale. But really just listen to your body and what you're able to do. So maybe you can breathe in for four and out for six. Um, and hold for four, but <clears throat> or maybe you can only breathe in for two, hold for one, and exhale for three. But it, um, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as we just gently work with it and don't force at all. Okay, we're just going to do one more breathing exercise. Keep your nice, steady breath, but leave the retention now. So we're just going to Keep with that nice inhale and slightly longer exhale if possible. And you're going to use your right hand and your first two fingers, so your, your index finger and your middle finger, are going to come right between, or your third eye, so between the eyes and slightly raised. And you're going to use your ring finger and your thumb to, at the very, very top of your nostrils, to, to be able to close off each nostril when you need to. So first of all, keep both fingers off the nostrils and the other two rest gently at the third eye. So inhale through both. Nice, steady inhale. And then close the left nostril and exhale through the right. And inhale through the right. Close the nostril, the right nostril, and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, close the left, open the right and exhale. Inhale through the right, close the nostril and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, close and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, close and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, close and exhale through the right. So continue with this pattern with your breath rate. But just try and keep it nice and soft and steady. You're going to do 10 rounds, so that means 10 lots of breathing in through both nostrils.
Just keep the spine long and the shoulders soft. Down your ten rounds. Rest your hands in your lap, one on top of the other. Slightly tuck your chin towards your chest, lengthening through the back of the neck. And just breathe steadily. Gently, you can start to open your eyes. Gaze at the floor first and keep the eyes very soft. 